welcome back to my channel everyone. Hi, my name is Ronnie and today we're going to do a tutorial. This is a dish soap dress. It's pretty easy. Even a beginner could do it. This is what it looks like on the back. Take your dish soap, put it down. And there we have it. So, what do you need for this project today? Well, I originally used this cotton yarn, but today I'm going to use this peaches and cream stripy yarn. It is two ounces. 56.7 grams, 102 yards, and 93 meters. It's a worsted weight four. And the colorway is green stripes. Now you can use any kind that you want, but this is just lying around. I thought it would look pretty, so I'm going to use it. I'm also going to use five millimeter hook, darning needle to weave in your ends, and a pair of scissors. So get your hook and your yarn ready and we'll begin. Okay, so first we're going to start off with a slip knot on our hook, and then we're going to chain 11. And then we're going to place one double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Whoops, sorry about that. And place a double crochet in each chain across. I'm trying a different way of crocheting today and videotaping in hopes that I can get my hands a little closer to the camera so I can see the stitches I'm doing. So we're just going to place one double crochet in each stitch across. At the end of the row you should have nine stitches. Okay, so once you get across, we're going to turn our work, and you can either place two or three chains, but I'm going to do a double stand, a double stacked single crochet, or a stacked single crochet, and that's going to count as my first double crochet. And I'm going to repeat doing that throughout the video. From rows 2 through 4, we're just going to place one double crochet in each stitch across. Don't forget to turn your work and place whatever double crochet you plan to start off with. In each row, you should still have nine stitches. Once my fourth row is done, then I will return. Okay, so I have my four rows done. 
now it's time to start increasing. So on this first row, we're going to place two double crochets in the first stitch and two double crochets in the last stitch. And we're also going to be doing front post and back post double crochets. So this first row is just front post double crochets. So our very next stitch, I'm going to zoom in just a little. Oh, I'm already zoomed in. You're going to yarn over your hook and then this very first double crochet, we're going to go in between the two double crochets and push that post up and bring our hook out the other side. And then we're going to yarn over and bring it through and then we're going to just go ahead and do a double crochet. And in the next stitch, we're going to place a regular double crochet front post double crochet, go down between the stitches, pull that post forward and come out the other side and do a double crochet. Next stitch, a double crochet. The next stitch, front post double crochet. The next stitch, a double crochet. You have two stitches left next to the last a front post double crochet and then in that very last stitch we're going to place two double crochets So now your work should look like this. You should have four front post double crochets. So now we turn our work and in this very first stitch we're going to place two double crochets. And in the next stitch, we're going to place two double crochets. Okay, so now you see where all of on the last row we did front post double crochets. Well, this row we're going to do back post double crochets. So let me zoom back in. So we're going to go behind our work and come up between the two stitches and push that stitch back and go on the other side. So it looks like this. And then we're going to grab the yarn and I like to bring it forward so I can see what I'm doing and bring that yarn through and then do the regular double crochet. That's a back post double crochet. And in the next stitch we're going to place a regular double crochet. So now we need to go down between the stitches, well come up between the stitches and push that post back and go through and do a double crochet. In the next stitch, a front or a regular double crochet, I'm sorry, and then a back post double crochet. And then a regular double crochet. And then
and this will be our last back post double crochet. And in the last two stitches, two double crochets each. And this is what you should have so far. Let me zoom out just a little. Okay, so now we need to turn our work. And in the first two stitches, we're going to place two double crochets. This is row seven. And now we're going to, there is a two double crochets right here from the previous row where we did um, two double crochets in a stitch, in the second stitch. So now we're going to place this in the front post double crochet. So your very next stitch you will place a front post double crochet and then a regular double crochet front post double crochet and then a regular double crochet do this all the way across and at the last four stitches, I'll meet back up with you. Okay, so now we're on the last four stitches. We just finished the front post double crochet. So now we need to place a regular double crochet. We need to add in, in the third stitch from the last, we're going to place a front post double crochet. And then in the last two stitches, we're going to place two double crochets. So we repeated rows, row five. So now we turn our work and we're going to repeat row six. This is row eight. So first, first things first, we're going to place two double crochets in the first two stitches. And here we have two double crochets from the previous round that needs back post double crochets. So this very first would be your third stitch. We're going to do a back post double crochet. And then we're going to do a regular double crochet. and then a back post double crochet. And you're going to keep doing this across until you get to the end, which I will meet back up with you. If I can get my camera to pause. Okay, so <clears throat> We've made it to the last four stitches. 
We just finished a back post double crochet. So now we're going to place a regular double crochet. And in the next stitch, we're going to do a back post double crochet. And then the last two stitches, we're going to place two double crochets. And we're going to turn our work and so far this is what you should have So I'm going to tell you how to do the first four stitches and then you're on your own for the rest of this row. And this is the last row we do of double crochets. So in the first two stitches, we're just repeating row seven. In the first two stitches, you're going to place two double crochets. And then you're going to introduce the front post double crochet in the very next stitch and then a regular double crochet. Front post double crochet and then a regular double crochet. Continue the front post regular crochet across and then once you get to the last four stitches the very last stitch you'll do is a front post double crochet so then in the fourth stitch you'll need to place or in the first stitch after that you'll need to place a regular double crochet and then in the second stitch a front post double crochet and then in the last two stitches two double crochets each once mine is done I'll return Okay, so like I said, that was the last double crochet row. So now we're going to turn our work, <clears throat> excuse me, and we're going to place two single crochets in this very first stitch. And then we're going to do a back post single crochet. It's just like a back post double crochet, only you're doing it with a single crochet. And then a single crochet. Whoops, scratch that. We need to place two single crochets in the first two stitches. I'm so sorry. So two single crochets in your first two stitches and then we're going to introduce the back post double cro or single crochet and then a regular single crochet. A back post single crochet and a regular single crochet. And just like all the rest, finish this row and I'll return. Okay, so I'm on the last four stitches. And I just completed a back post single crochet. So I'm going to place a single crochet in the first stitch. And a back post single crochet in the second stitch.
and in the last two stitches I'm going to place two single crochets. Sorry about that, my nose itched. So now we're done with the back posts and the front post single crochets and double crochets. So now we're going to turn our work, and yes, it's starting to curl just a little, that's all right. And, we're, and then in this row, we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch across. <clears throat> and once I get this row done, then I will return. Just continue placing one single crochet in each stitch across. Be right back. Okay, so this is what you should have so far. Now I'm going to zoom back in. And get my yarn ready and turn it over we're going to connect the two sides so we're going to slip stitch into the very first single crochet just like that and then in the very next stitch, going up the side, we're going to grab the stitch on in both sides. And we're going to place one single crochet. And then we're going to do another single crochet in the same in the next stitch. There's not really a stitch, just got to go around the single crochets, double crochets. So now you should have, it should be connected together. Okay, so now we're going to place one single crochet in each row all the way up the side anywhere where you find a space just place a single crochet but just remember you'll have to do the same thing on the other side so I'm going to finish placing single crochets all the way up to the top once I get to the top then I'll return and we'll go from there I'll be right back. Okay, so once you make it up to the top, now we're going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to slip stitch in the very beginning of the pattern. Well, we're going to make a single crochet. And I'll show you what that's for later. Whoops, sorry. Let me redo that since I was off camera. In the very first stitch, I'm going to place a single crochet. Now we're going to do what we did just a little bit ago. And we're going to place a single crochet in each stitch down the row. I'm just going around the posts. If you don't want to do it like that, then you don't have to. It just seems easier. So once I get this side done, then I'll return and I'll show you what's next. Be right back. OK, 
Okay, so I just placed my last single crochet and I'm going to come over here to this first single crochet and I'm going to slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain one and fasten off. So now this is what you should have. So give me just a couple of seconds and I will weave in my ends and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what you should have. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to bring my other bottle in, my dish bottle, dish soap bottle, and we're going to just place it over the top. Don't forget to put this over the top too. And there you have it. I think it's epic looking. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet a subscriber, please consider doing so. I have lots of things listed that I'm planning to make. Tons of ideas in my head. Lots more videos to come. If you have any spare time, please go ahead and watch some of my other videos. I'm almost to my 1,000 subscribers and needing some watch time hours. I want to thank you for subscribing and liking, sharing and commenting. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, please be safe out there. Bye!